sorry. I have to interrupt myself. That's not mine. That's not my footage. That's not my content. This episode in collaboration with Juba's journey. That's his stuff. But more on his journey a bit later on. only joined my journey now, welcome, my name is Ian Chamberlain and this is my story of how we crossed Africa on small 150cc scooters. If you missed the previous episode, I'll put a link up in the right hand corner. We are currently in Malawi and after a short stop over in Lilongwe, it was time to head west towards Lake Malawi. First stop, Senga Bay, where we would unwind for a few days, but first we needed to stop for a few refreshments. Till now we mostly stayed in sponsored accommodation with white bedding, air conditioned rooms and Wi-Fi. Pitching our tents and our stretchers for the first time added a new sense of adventure to our journey.
The next few days were spent swimming, kayaking and exploring the small islands in the lake. We even discovered an old abandoned lighthouse on the island. On returning to camp, Dave discovered a few uninvited guests in his tent. Dave has been having some ant issues. The ants have been attacking Dave. <laughs> they just swarmed his tent. Everything is full of ants. He even moved his tent from where it used to be to where it's now. And there's still ants everywhere. He's attempting to do this using a wet cloth and then he said he could wipe up thousands of ants one stroke. Hey Dave, what you doing? I'm on ant patrol. Ant patrol? Ant patrol. There are ants. <laughs> Why do you stretch a, in an angle? So my feet and my head doesn't touch the tent walls, so ants will then crawl under your head or your feet. Karma definitely saw me laughing at Dave. That night, I would be the one with ants crawling on my face. The locals use dugout canoes for fishing. These are boats that have been made out of hollowed out trees and are very difficult to balance on. Hein and I tried it and it's nearly impossible. At night time the fishermen would go out on the lake and the lake would just light up like a city on the horizon as the fishermen uses their paraffin lantern on their dugout. Lake Malawi is known as the Calendar Lake because it's got 365 miles from top to bottom, 52 miles at the widest point and 12 main rivers flow into the lake. Our time in Senga Bay came to an end and it was time for another very early start. The 325 kilometer journey to our next destination would take us about 8 hours to cover, but the long days driving would definitely be worth it as we were heading to the famous Nakata Bay.
big shout out to Juba's journey. Juba and his wife Jackie quit their jobs and embarked on an overland adventure through Southern Africa in the Land Rover Defender called Makulu. They visited wildlife parks and remote places while only stopping in towns and cities to resupply on food, fuel and water. This is my ultimate definition of freedom. I will leave a link in the description below. Nakata Bay has an almost Caribbean feeling to it, as described by Lonely Planet. It's paradise, $5 beachfront accommodation, cheap beer, warm clear water. It almost felt like the Bali of Africa, just not as crowded. spend another few days exploring Nakata Bay and its surroundings. For a small village, it has a lot to offer. We joined the locals for a day out on the boat, where they showed us everything from fish eagles to cliff jumping. Unfortunately, this trip was not called Cape Town to Malawi. It was time to leave this little piece of paradise behind and move on again. But Malawi had other plans. She made sure we weren't going to forget them. We're staying, standing in Mizuzu city and there is no fuel in town. It's long queues and uh, we're waiting. We eventually found a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy that can get us black market fuel. <laughs> Did you hear me fall there? I thought you were hit by a truck. <laughs> you got a fright. Scared us more than you. <laughs> it was all fun. Next one, I thought I was on my side. <laughs> you have all the fun. <laughs> hey, you were the first one to take a tumble. That was the scene of the accident. I know it seems fairly dry now, but five minutes ago I was wet, okay? And I had to put my front brake and I slipped. It's all fun in games. We crossed yet another country. Our time in Malawi was up. It was time to move on to Tanzania. Thank you for watching another episode of my African Scooter series. This is a story of how we crossed Africa on small little scooters all the way from Cape Town, South Africa to Dublin, Ireland. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. 